Hi, Chili from Best Buy's Plug and Blog, and this week we're testing out the KitchenAid ice cream maker. The KitchenAid ice cream maker is a simple KitchenAid attachment. Um, in the box, you get the mixing bowl that's also uh, something that you put into the freezer, the mixing paddle, and then there's a small um, adapter that just connects to the bottom of your KitchenAid mixer. It just slides right in. So tonight I'm going to make a blackberry ice cream. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that in the KitchenAid mixer. Um, the reason that I have my KitchenAid bowl on right now is because I'm going to mix everything up. I have some whipped cream, some half and half, three quarters cup of sugar, and I have some blackberries that I picked um, from my backyard just this past summer and I had in the freezer. So the first thing I'm going to do is combine the whipped cream and the half and half and the sugar all in the KitchenAid mixing bowl and I'm going to put the paddle on so that it will mix up really well. Now that this is combined, I'm going to pour in my blackberries and I'm going to combine those two. Keep in mind that this is only one KitchenAid ice cream maker recipe. You can uh, make the ice cream that has the eggs in it, um, in which case you would use your stove, or you can make a simple ice cream like this. Either way, it always turns out. Okay, it's combined. As you can see, there's some blackberries on the paddle. So I will take my bowl off and just put it over here for now and then I will attach the KitchenAid ice cream maker bowl. You just get it on there and then you tighten it so that's attached. You take this attachment and you just slide it on here. There's a little letter A up there, that's how you know which way goes up. Okay, now I'm just going to take my blackberry uh, whipped cream half and half mixture and pour it into the ice cream maker. And then I take the paddle, slide it in the ice cream maker, and make sure that it fits to the attachment. And then I turn it on. This is going to turn for approximately 25 minutes before it becomes soft ice cream. Okay, so it's been 25 minutes, and I'm going to pop that off. Um, as you can see, it just attaches. It's not really attached. And over here, over here, the paddle is embedded in the ice cream, but you can get a good look at the ice cream and see that it is soft serve ice cream in 25 minutes. If you'd like it to be harder, all you have to do is put the entire bowl or in a separate container into the deep freeze um, and let it sit for about a half an hour, hour, and it's ready to go. When it's time to clean it up, all you have to do is take the paddle, give it a good rinse. This can go into the dishwasher, as can this go into the dishwasher. But this freezer bowl actually has to be washed out by hand. So don't put the freezer bowl in the dishwasher. If you want a tip on how to have it prepared for ice cream all the time, what I do is I just leave the freezer bowl in the freezer and it's always ready to go. I just pull it out and make ice cream whenever I want to. That's how easy it is to make ice cream with the KitchenAid ice cream maker attachment. For my full review of the KitchenAid ice cream maker, you can visit Best Buy's blog. Thanks for watching.